Hi, I'm Damon from Nuna. We had lots of questions coming in where the differences lie between the Senna and the Senna Air from Nuna. So to start off with, I'll run through a few of the uh, features that both of these two products share and then tell you where the key differences come between the two of them. So to start off with, both models come included with a bassinet. So the great thing with the bassinet is we've got set up here in the centre air, it's lifting the child up to make it much more accessible for those first potential six months. So up until the child can sit up unaided, we'll utilise the bassinet. Um, and then the beauty with the bassinet on the center air and the center is that we don't have to remove it if we're folding it. So if we're using this in the bedroom during the night and we wish to take it downstairs for the daytime, we can simply pop our arm straight through that central loop there and pull on the tag, making it very, very quick and easy to fold and transport and move downstairs and to utilize during the day as a daytime napper as well. So one of the few on the market that can fold with the bassinet on. And of course, after six months, when we're ready to remove that bassinet, on each corner you'll find a little clip. So we undo each of those four clips on the corners. And then on each of the centre parts, we have a little strap with a snap that we can remove to very quickly and easily remove the bassinet itself. So really, really quick and easy to uh, take it off and also put it back on if we're using it for multiple uh, aged children. Now, once we've removed the bassinet, we've got set to set up here on the centre, it drops the base section right down so we can utilise it then again still as a sleeping aid but also then as a playpen um, for those older years up till around about two years old to keep the child safe and secure within the product. Now on both products we include a mattress, now the mattress itself is uh, nice and comfortable as well as um, uh, very 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 easy to clean but also it's what's used when we fold the product to hold it together so once that's folded together we can wrap this around the actual travel cot and utilize these velcro straps here to hold it together and both models come included with a uh, travel bag as well so really really nice and easy to, uh, to travel with the product as well now where do the differences come between the two products well, one of the differences is in the mattress. Uh, with the Senna Air, we include uh, a mattress cover. So we do include an organic cotton sheet with the product itself, as you see we've got set up there. So that's one difference. But the other difference comes on the actual mattress construction. So with regards to the Senna Air, we have a ventilated mattress. So this is aerated foam and does allow over four times increased airflow than a standard travel cot. So really, really good when we're using it in hot climates. Um, and one of the best features for this, for me personally, is the fact that we actually have a travel cot where we can remove the supports for washing. So we have four of these little panels that we can very, very quickly, easily remove, and we can machine wash this mattress. So really good if we're utilising it for different children uh, or if there's some form of uh, incident, shall we call it, on there that requires it to be removed, we can machine wash it to fully clean that straight away. The other difference with regards to the airflow comes on the centre air in the respect that the base, the sides and the bassinet are all mesh as well, which aids to that four times increased airflow versus a standard travel cot. So they're the, the key differences between the two different products. Primarily on the center air, it's that increased ventilation and the ability to wash the mattress, as well as the fact that it comes included with that fully organic cotton sheet as well. Both travel cots you'll find are extremely strong. So the huge benefit on these products are the strength and the structure itself is very, very strong. Because of course, I'm sure you'll appreciate that when you're trying to reach into a travel cot to get the child out, it's quite a long distance to reach in. So we appreciate that people may be leaning on the structures. So the structures of both products are incredibly strong and incredibly stable. So hopefully that's explained the differences between the two models and where the benefits lie between the two at the different price points. Thank you.